Cool. Uh, okay, so we're back live. The setup is a little bit different. Um, but yeah, yo, Eric Dubois, EDP Beats. Uh, for you who's gonna watch it on replay or at least the beginning, um, tonight the main idea is to practice for a live show that I got in two weeks. Wait, I gotta move the camera again, but I gotta practice for a live show in uh, two weeks, Saturday. May 13th, so I'm gonna use these next two Fridays to be doing some live jams and kind of figure out, I got a 25 to 35 minute set um, as EDP beats, so I do wanna do some live guitar looping, but at the same time, I wanna have some some hard hitting uh, beats and some like good bass so that the people kinda of go crazy. So it would be fun, so I'm gonna, so we'll see. So the whole live stream for today is gonna be separating some live shit and a lot of like preparation and getting the loops ready, making sure the latency is all right. It's a lot of technical stuff tonight. And um, also a lot of uh, just going through a bunch of beats and picking up the best ones. So I might start off with that. And uh, but yeah, but first let me get that uh, camera adjusted. But um, yeah. That's about here. Let me jam a quick thing real quick. Okay, so the idea on how the live setup is gonna be set is um, I have two different outputs. So the click that you're hearing is actually gonna be routed through the computer and it's gonna be going into my headphones. But since I'm just practicing tonight, everything's routed out of the same system, the big stereo speakers, and uh, we're gonna rock with that. So let me try out the first live show too. Oh, and mm, just ordered a few more of these really cool cassette tapes. Um, USB cassette tapes. I'm gonna also gonna bring them to the live show, hopefully for merch. And so, this guy. This is the one for you know. Maybe I don't know why it's not auto focusing like a. Come on, bro. There we go. EP beats. Artist name. Kuna hated this one. I uh, threw it in reverse, but it's really cool. Cassette tapes. That's fire. Which are actually not cassette tapes. They're USB. Boom. So. And I can also write like a little personal message inside, which is cool. Um, the idea is to, during the show, Saturday 13th out here in Hawaii, hopefully I would have received these in time. And if I do, the idea would be to kind of record the entire live set and be able to sell these at the end and upload the audio of the live performance of tonight. Um, but I only wanna do it if I can also get the crowd around. So I'm gonna have to check with the sound engineer over there. At next door see if it's possible I think it is and um, yeah so that's gonna be really cool so let me jam a quick thing real quick and uh, yeah love Friday welcome Gotta use a chair though mm, so So right here on live in session view. but
All right, cool. That's one idea. But. All right, so then kind of the idea would be to. That's pumping, actually. That's not too bad. But can I do a whole life so of that? Because once the bass and the kick and all that is in, then I want to kind of like give something to hit. You know, we're missing something. So I have to see. But at least that's a good uh, improv. Mike's hard today. Oh. It seems like I lost my pick, too. I think it's a big kind of thing. Um, every time it's kind of the same thing. I don't need the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi is off. Good. Yeah, shit. And then I can go to the master channel, which I haven't done. minutes let's do this real quick from here straight up Shyhan what's up buddy um duck 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 now I'm just doing my music BP beats boom live flip around should I put the little fish eye maybe I should fuck it yeah Crazy. My hair is crazy, but fuck it. Fuck it, fuck it. Try to go live. Try to go live. Okay, cool. Sweet. Um, what up? What up? What up? All right, cool. Um, we're live on Twitch, and uh, I got a live show coming up. Um, it's weird. I'm getting some sound from here, which I don't like. Should happen. So I have to fix that. But um, prepping for a live show that I have on the 13th, so two Saturdays, not tomorrow, next Saturday. So I gotta practice that. So I'm preparing some beats, preparing some live, uh, organizing the sets, organizing the samples, organizing the audio writing, make sure that the guitars are hooked up right and all that. So I'm doing all that live on Twitch tonight. And um, and uh, yeah, but Friday nights is busy, Cinco de Mayo, so happy Cinco de Mayo. And um, fuck, I say a lot of Anna. But, Live on Twitch. Peace. Much love. That was a bad exit. Much love again. But, but, 
might get that camera angle a little bit better. I'm really not a fan. I'm really not a fan of that one. Um, it's hot today in the studio. Uh, let's see if I'm connected. Oh yeah, I gotta do this first. This is the beat I was working on. So this one I'm gonna play, which is Mellows. So Mellows is working. Now, um, let's go through the live sets that I have. Was Mellows, was this one. Toes in the Sand, I can't do. Uh, toes in the Sand, for real? Maybe I could do that. Maybe I could do like an original song and then a improvised thing, which could be cool. Um, 25 minutes is short. 25 minutes is super short, so I gotta figure that out. Uh, but let's see if I had some beats that could be fire that would hit hard. Um, let's go to Chrome. Let's go to my private SoundCloud playlist. Um, EP, SoundCloud. These are old shit, too. I'm going to hit Dropbox. Oh, you want to hear the new shit that I'm working on for just Eric? Uh, Dropbox. Recent that I listened to. Um, I think I listened to him today, but I haven't listened to him on these speakers. I'm curious to see. Um, shit, nah, nah. Uh, so the first song is called uh, "Evening Stroll." So this is the EP that I'm working on, based off. Um, based off all the beats and all the Instagram reels that I did and throughout the van, because I'm gonna be selling the van, that's the plan. Or at least living in it is different now. And, um, well, it's not gonna, I'm not living in it. <laughs> but the idea is to kind of collect all of those ideas that I made and uh, get like, out of like, the, I don't know, 30 beats that I made or, or more, uh, just cut out to like the four best and arrange them, make them sound good, create like an EP, just kind of like a souvenir of that van, van life time. Uh, it's not sold yet, but um, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Um, shit, it's not an idea. It was in Just Eric uh, Music. Oh, Just Eric Van EP. There it is. All right, cool. Boom. Just Eric Van EP. And this song was called Evening Stroll. And Bounce. Let's listen to this shit. Oh, this is coming out of the Amtrak. Two is the last one. No, be three. Exactly. 
a song called Evening Stroll. This is the first one that gave me kind of the idea. that in the Instagram reel, which is cool. It's all the same guitars that are from there. So this whole section here I can play live pretty easily. And then I want to add in this more take it elsewhere kind of thing. So I can do that for this one. Um, but yeah, Evening Stroll, which is pretty cool. It sounds good here. It's missing a little bit of mids, but it sounds good. And the other one is Impatience. But I'm missing a guitar solo on this one. Uh, you too. Or something for like the bridge section. <laughs> These are all the same guitars that are recorded from that reel. Impatient. Let me hear it. Let me open up a note. Let me open up Notion. Um, just to get some fucking. Alright, and then we're gonna go to my private SoundCloud playlist and let's see if we can play some beats or some songs, bruv. Like, there's some fire songs that I did. Um, like, as a producer. think maybe not maybe it'll be just a just Eric kind of thing but if we're doing EDP beats I want to kind of also showcase um, showcase some crazy shit playlist where is the playlist exclusive right here um. <laughs>
songs. Okay, so this song I'm definitely gonna use. Can't find it though. too much. That's it. So I need a vocal line or I need something or a guitar over it or some, some kind of stuff. No. This one's cool. But it's really nice. Actually, the songs, I gotta check that out then. So let me close this guy, but let me open up. There's a few actually in there. Um, yeah, let me open up Spotify. And here, what I'm gonna do is a new project. Books, do a journal me. Okay, cool. So, filter project. Um, I'm writing notes so I don't forget. Preparing live show, new May 14th. Boom. Um, artist is pretty much just Eric. Boom. Date, 
Ah oh, putain, il y, y a des cafards, mon pote. Ah, oh, c'est fucking cockroaches, no way. Um, today, fuck it. And yeah, what we're doing. Show only. Oh, load them at 1080p. Oh, I can't do this. Alright, cool, whatever. Notes. Um, songs by just Eric are. Um, it's. To do. It's impatient. Mellows and evening stroll. Uh, those are for sure, so I gotta practice those. Practice those songs. Boom. Um, also be an EDP set. Uh, I don't have much new beats, but um, songs to play. Would be uh, puff puff for the rush, maybe. Fuck. Puff puff for the rush. Uh, what's the other one? Is Spotify open? I only got 25 minutes, so it would be... that many songs that I could play. So let's keep going down the beat route. As a child was in a place where I could say yes to song. I think I'll just practice those then. Those three songs. So let's go from here. Let's go.
downloading the Impatience zip from my Dropbox. I'm listening to some Keto Landsguard. This was from my album. This was actually kind of, this was fucking insane. These songs are from uh, the EP called uh, Omens of a Rebellion. And it's one of the first EPs that I made with Kettle. And Kettle Landsgaard, who's an artist from Canada, who I love dearly to my heart. And we've been working music together for like, shit, since I've been in Hawaii. And he's, he's, he's based in Canada. And we've been some, through some ups and downs, divorces, and like, pursuit of music all this time. And we've been, he has kids, and just like, we've been through so much struggle that this EP, um, Omens of a Rebellion, is a perfect kind of fit to that. He has this song called Earthworm, which is super indie rock, 90 indie rock. All the beats are made by me. Keto just kills everything, sends me the vocals, we mix it in, we write it. insane omens of rebellion we came out with omens of rebellion 2 which we've been staggering 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 on and i've been slacking on it and there was the whole van life situation in the middle of it and then all these issues and so the ep just keep kept getting pushed and pushed back and it doesn't it's great it's a great fucking ep there's some amazing songs on it like out of the system which is uh, very bluesy I can play that one live too. Ah, missing the bass. Kettle, check out that EP, it's fucking fire. Um, I do want to do a showcase and then I do want to make some beats. Um, Out of the System is insane. I said no, it's a really good song too. Drums come in. Standing 
Fuck, but at the same time, with that rocky voice. It seems you want to walk yes, into a chamber. It seems you want to be comfortable rather than fight. It seems you want to be favored rather than ridiculed. It seems you want to be right rather than knowing you're fool. Good shit with um, man, and then there's Carl Bailey. <laughs> Okay, so Impatient downloaded. That was Carbelly from New York. Uh, and the song is called NMP, No More Privacy. And it's just too fucking good. Um, perfect. Got all the tracks. Impatient makes Master B2. Uh, so we're going to practice this one first. <laughs> Take the Mix Master V2, slide this in here for impatience. And in this way, so I have the live set. The live set that I have open is my live performance live set. So the master channel, the sin, and the returns are all set for my live performances. So I have devices, effects, and I have things that I can tweak. And I have like a headphone track, so in case I can always just crank up the volume in here in my headphones. So I don't want to like open up a project, a song that I made, and then have to 
modify the master channel, add in the return channel for the headphones, add in this and add in that. So what I do instead is I drag in the project straight into Ableton Live. So it's gonna open up the project, but only it's still gonna keep the master and the sin and the returns from the original live project that I dragged and dropped uh, the a ALS file into. That makes sense, it's a little complex, but it makes sense. Um, so then, once I'm done with that, what I could do simply is just erase the previous beat that I had. Uh, the sweeps, we don't give a fuck. And actually, the arrangement now is totally different. So, now we're gonna have to think. I brought it in, Impatient was at 10, 103, dying. So actually, 102 and 103 is pretty damn close. Oh, 103. <laughs> So let me see one thing. If I, for example, let's think about it. I deleted the other shit. Okay, so this one, we're going to save it straight up. File, save live set as. We're going to go into our live set folder, and which is in May 13th, impatient, and we're going to call it live mix master v2, and this one is going to be live set live show actually boom, boom. Duck. perfect um and uh and let's see so we're gonna have to delete all this <laughs> so this section here for example this smooth like I will need that to Apple C, or actually Apple J. Ah, oh, fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Let me do this then. Let me duplicate this. Copy this, Apple J. Just to convert into audio. Drag this into our um, groups here. So if I play from the groups, if I get out of the arrangement mode entirely, so if I go to like bar 300, boom, which is way far out in the track, um, then what I can do, if I hit tab, I can hit these. So I need the full drums, which are here. Nice with these guys. So now what I'm doing is I'm chopping up um, the parts of the beats because in arrangement view, then I kind of modify the drums, you know, make them a little bit more in sync. Uh, make sure that the loop is on. Let's check them right now. So now I need to play up at like the 300 bar mark to be sure I'm not in arrangement mode. My cool little oh there it is duke, duke. still works though that works fire fire okay so this is the main kind of thing but 
um, I think I have also other guitar tracks. Because then, if we go back to arrangement view, there's a section here right after this. Well, here. This is all the same guitars. Now this one. So we got the bass in. So let me do that. Apple J. Uh, we're going to keep it at two. Everything is at like two bars. Um, Apple J, Apple E. I'm going to bring this over to the bass line right under here. And we're going to have... We're gonna have this one actually over here. And this one is gonna be pitched down by 12. Actually, I have it already set, so I'm gonna delete that. Peace out. Head back to the arrangement view, grab this guitar, this bass, I mean this bass. Boom, boom, Apple C, well, Apple E. Drag and drop over here. So this section with the basses, grab this guy, copy it here. Um, the drums are gonna be the same, but there's a shaker as well, I believe. Should I do Apple J? So let's see here, if we go back to bar 300, this is the whole preparation of like a live set. So I have, I go back to the reel in Instagram, I have all the, the sets of the main loops that I have and then in arrangement view, I have the whole, oh shit, yo, what's up? Um, yeah, hey, bruv, what you doing? You're taking pictures over at the middle of the night? Wait, I gotta catch up on everything. Yes, sir, just Derek in the house, tell us beats. Feel that, giving Sugar Ray vibes, Sandy Beach chilling. Vibe. Oh, you're at Sandy's, nice. Okay, I might head over there tonight, actually, because I'm in the van with my dog. Uh, very light, like, and it's nice, but I got a blister, a blister missing with the janky lighter shit. <laughs> I'm working lighter less at the moment, I gotta go to the store. Fuck, dude, that sucks. Uh, ice cream for sure, I can call that on the drumstick. Dude, it's so fucking fire here. Wait, let me grab my leaf since you're talking about it. But dang, dude. Yeah, I'm preparing the live show. But shit, I might swing by. So, Starlight Literature. If you guys remember, it's... Wait, I gotta move this camera because I keep looking at myself. But... Sorry, bro. At the same time, I'm taking this. I'm taking advantage of getting these really cool shots to uh, like repost on Instagram. I'm backtracked like a motherfucker, so I gotta like fucking, um, I gotta catch up. But, uh, Starlight Literature, if you don't know, amazing. And he does amazing um, nighttime photography. So right now he hit me up a little bit before to go and uh, chill over at uh, Sandy Beach and capture the full moon tonight, which is also in retrograde, Mercury, and there's some crazy other shit going on. So it's like, it's a fucked up night. And it's Cinco de Mayo, which, Everyone's been inviting me out to Cinco de Mayo, but in Argentina, they don't celebrate it. So it's a very like Mexican kind of thing. And in France, we don't celebrate it either. So I'm really like, oh shit, totally forgot about it. So I gotta check that out. But, um, but bro, you're gonna be there all night at Sandy's? And so he takes pictures of the sky. So he's just gonna be there and take these slow pics, just fucking fire. Um, and smoke some weed. So I might come and join you afterwards, especially if you're at Sandy's. If you're gonna chill there the whole night, then uh, fuck yeah. And I got coffee in the morning, bruv. So if you're sleeping in your car, then early morning we can grab a coffee and all that. I'll probably chill out over there. I Either that or share woods, but it's all going to depend on tonight. But yeah. Uh, there's lunar eclipse too. That's true. There's a fucking lunar eclipse at 5.15 a.m. Okay, shoots. Um, is that when uh, the moon becomes red? Uh, something like that, right? Um... If I'm not mistaken, um, or the shadow of the Earth passes in front of the Moon, and so the Moon doesn't get the direct sunlight, or something like that. If I remember correctly, I think it is. Um, okay, but dude, yeah, it's fucking fire. I think it's that. There's lunar eclipse, yeah. But yeah, Starlight Literature, check him out. He's an amazing poet, and we want to work on a um, poetry album together, or an EP and kind of record it all from the van and get inspired and find a story to tell throughout the whole thing, make the music in the background, have him recite. He's been practicing like crazy and he's insane and I love it. And uh, we haven't been doing any open mics. I don't know if you have, but I'm gonna try. I'm digging out soon, actually. I have, uh, yeah. Oh dang, bummer. Okay, I finished at midnight anyway, so I don't know if I would be able to make it out there um, before you head out. 
Dang. Next time, keep hitting me up when you do it, because I want to I wanna join in on one of those. Especially with my dog, and from the van, it could be much more chill, and it's fire. So, let's do it. Let's do it. Much love. Keep it easy, man. May 13th, Saturday. If you want to come to the show, come through the show. I think it's like $10 the entry. I'm going to start posting the links like in the next two weeks and shit, so it would be dope if you come through. I don't know how many guest passes I have. I have to check. I didn't even ask. I don't think we do. Um... For sure, gonna be a good time. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. So you let me know also if you want to see anything special. Uh, so far, I got like a full, I got only 25 minutes to 30 minutes. So I got like a full Just Eric kind of thing going on. Because if I play three songs, that's already like 15. Plus, I drag them out all the time. But I'm on the thing as like EDP beats. So I do want to showcase some like songs that I made. Like with other artists. I don't know if you were there at the time when I was playing. Like going crazy on Kettle and like this song. They told me to make a Janet Jackson type beat. Carbelli, I made an EP with him before from New York, and he's like, yo man, I wanna make a, can you make like a Janet Jackson type beat? And so this is what came out. Ah, oh, shit, wait, I'm, it was supposed to be the dope ass intro. All right, hold on, I'm crank it up a little bit more. Ready? This is what came out. And this is the EP we made called Scorpionic. Check it out, it's fire. <laughs> That's a little fifth element vibe to it. Song is called No More Privacy. It's not one of the songs that I push out to everyone. But yeah, it's fucking fire. Alright, much love, bro. I keep practicing this shit. So I gotta break down this track and then I gotta break down two, three other more tracks. But dude, smoking this one, taking this puff for you. Starlight literature. Keep it up, dude. Keep it up. Um, okay, so if I go back to Ableton, um, go back to all my sets here. So I have these are all like the demo versions, but these are all the restructured ones. So. Fuck. Something changed on the VPN 300. What happened? Oh, shit. My bad. I think it was 103. 3103. I changed the BPM like crazy. Um, okay, so here I got both of them. Here I got the transition. I'm gonna call this our bridge. And then it goes into the verse. It's on the wrong track. Okay, so I have to go on the synth, uh, turn on the loop. My 808 bass wasn't there. Um, loop on, and now if you play it, there we go. Okay, cool. And that's my basic. Um, so I'm gonna save this Apple S file, click on save. Um, I'm gonna save all this. And now I'm gonna practice it because I gotta remember how to play it. I haven't played it in a while. But when I start off my set, then I can just drag in, open up this impatient, uh, impatient live show, and then it's gonna pop this up. And I have to write 102 BPM too on it. But um, yeah, here were the original takes of the reel that I made, and then here are. Ooh, there's a weird like shit on this guy. What the fuck? Oh my bad. Okay, cool. There was a lunar eclipse happening on the push. Um, anyways, so now I gotta test if everything works. So on this one, before saving, my guitar is on channel two because my audio interface is fucked. Um, solo, I'm gonna have it on channel two as well. Boom. And now let's play. So I gotta remember if I turn off the drums. Thank you. 
got that. All right, now I'm gonna check out the arrangement one more time. So I'm gonna zoom out, uh, have a closer view on it. That would be the thing. So now if I go down and let's try it. So fixed length on four bars. I think it's on two bars now. Or four bars, let's keep it. Uh, and let's stop all this. Metronome on. Let's go. Definitely not four bars, so definitely two bars for this one. Fixed length, we're gonna change it to two bars. Two bars is actually too short. I think I'm having an issue with my one bar counting. Interesting. Uh, so if I do clip. the thing, it shouldn't be a one mark count in. Yeah, it's acting like it's a two fucking bar count in, but no, it's not a two bar count in, it's a one bar count in, two bars, one bar. All right, boom, let's try it again. See, now it's starting to record, which is ridiculous. Um, none. the fixed length okay so I'm having a lot of issues here fixed length on okay I'm having 
having too many weird ass issues. It's not starting how it's supposed to. So there might be some automation shit. So what we're gonna do is from here. Scroll out. Um. Alright, so I'm going to delete the entire arrangement, WH, alright, delete all this, usually it should be one bar, I mean it's always one bar, uh, no other on here good okay cool so this one we could save as the main I set up Apple a what did I do oh Apple S. all right cool uh, so let's try it I mean shit. it should be set how it's supposed to be set so let's try it again green pick Because then what I could do is duplicate this guy here. Let's try it again. So now I have to f now what I'm doing is trying to figure out the build up, right? So I got the click running.
So you see. So the bass should be right underneath it. This one should be deleted. Because that's the main drum riff, right? This one to be here. This one to the gate. This one to this one. This one. Perfect. So the blue ones I don't touch. The yellow ones, delete, delete, delete. Um, delete. No. Uh. Now I'm gonna rename the tracks, so just to make it clear. Oh, la concha de la puta madre! When Ableton fucking crashes, Ableton crashes. And you're like, fuck, right when I'm doing some fucking important shit. Alright, so when Ableton crashes, first thing you gotta do turn off your push, turn off the equipment that you had connected. Pop up on Mac should appear saying like live quit unexpectedly. So we're gonna do reopen. There's probably a spike in the CPU. Uh, live, the options, uh, yeah, so now it means it's opening under a different mode. So if you're having plugin issues uh, and you use live um, and you're on a Mac, try running live under Rosetta. So you right click on the application live and uh, you should say get more info and then there should be a little checkbox says open using Rosetta. Try that, some plugins might come back, especially Wave plugins kind of have that issue. Um, and then every time it opens, it does that. So it's a different way of doing things and some plugins might work, some plugins might not. So it's, it's there to help for like the conversion between the M1 Max and the regular chips. So some plugins don't, it's a whole different process. So some plugins don't, are not compatible yet. So you have to open it through Rosetta if you have an M1 Mac. Um, yeah, all that kind of shit. That's what I do every day. Uh, impatient, yeah, yeah. So yeah, open back up. So you should have a pop-up from the crash report that comes up tells you uh, to fucking reopen everything. It's getting hard in here, bruh. But um, yeah, I got it, I got it. So I got Impatient is done. I gotta work on the other song too. Fuck, I don't like that black screen. I hate that black screen. Um, shit, it's not a big deal because I wasn't doing much different. 
practicing. That can't happen to me live though. But I'm running plugins such as uh, RC20, different shit like that. So, okay, so I had, I'm just having a black screen right now. So I'm gonna force quit live, I have it down, down. I'm gonna quit Chrome, because Chrome uses a lot of my fucking CPU power. I have Spotify too, I'm gonna quit Spotify. Uh, Notion was open. Uh, so impatient, check. Mellows, check, plus the intro, evening stroll. I have to learn evening stroll right now real quick. Uh, songs to play, but, but for the rush. <laughs> Um, fucking, what was the Kettle Landsguard song that was crazy? Out of the system. The system. Which is rock and roll as fuck. Um, I don't know if I have any other songs that are just fucking fire. Out of the system, electrification, and, uh, I have, fuck, what was it? Uh, out of the system, electrification, and, uh, I have, fuck, what was it? Um, I said no, Earthworm. Earthworm is bomb. Earthworm. Alright, cool. Uh, just to get that on my list and now we're gonna try to open it again so May 13th we have impatient and actually what I'm gonna do is from the Sakura I'm gonna do mellows I'm gonna drag it in here come on bruv drag mellows here like a plus sign Boop. drop it in there mellows should be here projects we're gonna open up live show Dutch so it should open like normally good the pop-up using Rosetta doesn't pop up now it should open, and we'll see from here if it was a plug-in issue or not. Fuck, what did it say? Uh, live unexpectedly quit while you were working on the live set and pitching. So yes, recover your work. Let's see how it goes. If the recovery doesn't work, then then in uh, the Ableton project folder, you have a backup folder. And so in that case, you're going to have to open the latest backup, save that, make sure you're good. And you rarely, honestly, rarely lose any recordings. So even if this happens where you're recording a live, um, or you're recording an artist or something, um, you should always be able to recuperate the files. So live is coming on because I'm getting the guitar. But it's not on, it's still loaded. There we go. Hmm, very strange. Uh, close the crash report. Everything still seems to be in, which is cool. This one I got away. Alright, so what I'm gonna do right away is save. Take out the crayon, make sure everything is loading properly. Sessions, yes, nice. Turn off the guitars. Oh, that crazy buzz. Okay, cool. So if I throw this. That is the difference. There is a difference.
cool. So we're ready to rumble. Um, so we're gonna save this as the live set, right? Uh, WH, that's not gonna work. But yeah, on my pay, I got the drum bus, I got my loops, so I can actually slide it over a little bit more, so I'm a little more, well actually, I'd like to have my drum bus here. And I have my guitars, and I have all my shit, all right. Cool, let's try this one more time. Mm. Yo, bro, I can't see the, I can't see the chat that often always when he is on TV. I know, Shamor, bro. But I forgot it was Shamor or Shamar. Shamar, exactly. You wrote it down so fucking perfect. Uh, no worries, man. <laughs> it's hard to remember sometimes when people will get down. Yes, Shamar, Shamar, Shamar. And I know your name. It's just that I'm high. And uh, yes, thank you for putting back out. Shamar from Starlight Literature, the fucking boss. Um, great poet, great writer. Um, he gets these amazing metaphors and amazing um watch the reel i'm gonna post the reel again from what we did last time our last live stream studio session which is available on youtube if you want to watch any of the replays of the live streams check it out i think it's called um i did use the chat gpt um title which is like poetry in the making or something it just sounds fucking epic so yeah go check him out shamar from starlight literature fucking creative genius for me so I'm looking forward to working on on the AP. Yeah, you put it over this I arrived later on. Damn, I must have missed the whole thing. All right, cool. Let's try to play this. All right, so this song is called Impatience. Um, and we'll kind of get a vibe of how it feels. This is how it's supposed to start off.
cool. So we're gonna delete these, we're gonna start over. Um delete this one. So undo, I did it a little too many stores though. Alright, when I'm done I'll get back to it. So let me save this. I'm gonna drop this down a few more. Just to have all the tracks here. Good. Good, cool. Alright, cool. Let's try this then. Um shit. Is it the wrong way it comes? Anyways. Fixed length, two bars, is go. Cool, let's try again. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time. We got some shit running. Alright, and action.
that's kind of like the whole the whole track. So let's try it one more time. So I'm gonna have to duplicate quite a few of these. These are all good. Let's stop this here. Let's delete this guy and this Apple S. Boom, perfect. Guitar low. We have this. on lock. 
don't we? Let's go eat that. So we got this. We got the transition. Mm. Then actually, that's what I should do. Redness, what's up, bro? Cops in front of the house? Uh, yeah, did you hear the the cop siren? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check it out. And see what's up. So, enjoy. Wait, enjoy the first loop. At least you didn't hear this one. I think. That's pretty cool.
we got like 30 minutes left, so I'm gonna try to practice this one one more time, and then, hmm. just to show you, bro, I got the H4 plugged in right here. That sounds getting all fucked, but works great, man. Fucking crazy. But yeah, like you said, I gotta get the level set right and the angle good. It's like a 120 angle, so it captures this perfect. But if I have like multiple people, then I gotta keep moving it around. It kind of sucks. So we got a solution. I don't know if the H5 has different like inputs or if it's a more like 180 kind of bracket. Would be the shit. All right, cool. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So uh, we got this one down. Um. And shit, I wish I could see so you the push. I'm trying to get my capture card working again so you can see like the computer. But I got a bunch of bunch of clips here, right? So these were like the first ideas I made based on like the reels that I did. So that's the idea of the EP, bro, is like capturing all the reels that I've did in the van. I'm getting ready to sell the van. So kind of like to mark the point of like I have an apartment now, I'm chilling. And kind of like the end of the van in that creative kind of moment. I'm like getting all of the reels together. I have like 30 or 40. Picking up like four or five best tracks. I got two so far. This one is bomb. Um, turning them into like a full song. So I got two songs already kind of fully mixed. I'm getting the idea down. So now I got to filter throughout all the other ideas and get like the best ones. And uh, But I'm going to be playing three for the live show. So, oh, fuck the battery, dude. Ah, uh, that camera. Damn. I was on a speech, man. Um, okay, cool. No worries. That's one of the things, too. It's like, I have to plug the camera in all the time. Okay, wait. I'm disconnecting. Turn the battery off. Turn the camera off. Because the camera... I'm going to step closer to the mic. What's up, man? It's just me and you. Acapella. Um, podcast mode. Um, so the camera is attached to this tripod that has this weird fucking connector that I have to fucking unscrew to be able to pop open the battery pack or whatever it's called. Take out the old battery, put it in the charger so that it charges, put in the new battery that's fully charged, not new, but fully charged battery. I'm describing the, <laughs> I'm describing the sequence. Uh, split. Still got audio. I know, it's fucked, dude. It's podcast mode. Shit, and I'm putting the battery backwards, so luckily none of this is on camera. There we go. Locked and loaded. Now, battery's back in. Door's locked. I gotta put in this fucking tripod adapter. Screw it back in. Walk over to where the fucking tripod was. Make sure I screw the adapter on correctly to get the same fucking angle. Put it in the fucking tripod, which is crazy, because I'm a little bit high right now. Boom, perfect. Grab the USB cable, plug it back in, and pray to Jesus that the camera comes back on. Uh, turn it off. Uh, I don't remember if I have to turn the camera on first or plug in the USB. This fucking, man, this is a crazy angle, dude. Don't judge me. I'll be going way too much. Almost, bro. We're almost there. <laughs> so this is like a connector. It's killing me. Come on, dog. There we go. All right, connected. Turn the camera on. Should come straight back to it. Yeah. Fuck yeah. We're back to business. Back to business. What's up, homie? Give it, give it a tickle. Exactly where it's supposed to be. Um, okay, cool. Oh, shit. Push two, bro. I don't want to lose this. I got these cool USB B tapes, man. I don't know if you see those. I ordered a few new ones. Wait. Cool little USB B tapes. I get them from uh, disc makers. They're fucking fire. It's just a USB C right there. Four gigs. Um, you get printed. So I got a guy to make the graphics for this, for the front and back, and I can write the fucking artist name. Oh, dude, I'm so bad. Right there. Write the artist name. I got a cool little box. And I can also, inside, I got some spots to like write in some things. Got my logo at the bottom. EPDs on the side. It's fucking crazy. Um, yeah, so it's super cool, and I got those out. And so the idea with the show is to bring these, bring these to the show, record the entire live set, and make sure that I capture um, the crowd. I want the crowd audio to be in it, 
and then sell these at the end and put directly the live set and the crowd uh, on the USB tape and the beats and some other shit and so like some cool stuff. And I don't know. I think it's a cool idea, but I hope I get the package before then. I don't know. Let me know. You know your thoughts. No, you can't. So it's USB, which I think is fucking fire. Um, I do want to do like some on real tape though and sell like the tape deck with it. Um, for like 30 bucks or something. There's some really cheap ones on Amazon. You can do that. Um, but this is really cool. It looks fucking amazing, dude. And uh, yeah. Or they're just really cool business cards. So I also sent these out to... Um, I sent one out to Kenny Beats. Kenny Beats got one. I reached out to it. I found... I like hunted down his fucking manager. Found him on Instagram. Was connecting. Commenting on his stuff. He does some really cool shit. He's a really cool dude. And... Um, Kenny was like drinking a lot of mate and sherba, and I lived in Argentina, so I wanted to send him a package. And I'm from Hawaii, so I'm like, yo, aloha from Hawaii, I wanna send you guys a little gift, blah, blah, give me the address, boom. And I sent a little tape, it was on fire. So these are really cool business cards, too, if you're a producer, um, I think. Yeah, Kenny Boots, and a French artist. So I wanna order more to be able, one, to sell, and two, to pitch to bigger artists. So I'll put some beats in there and then send it directly to like the manager or whatever. And, um, it's a cool, really cool little thing. And it doesn't cost that much. It costs like 100 bucks for 10 So like $10 a piece it cost me to make. 10 15 Let's say 15 Because um, I got to get the graphics and uh, upload the stuff and the delivery and the shipping. And so some things are a little more expensive. But it works. Anyway, um, let's try to jam this out because I don't have that much time left. Um, so this one. So yeah, I was showing you the sets, but this is where it happens. So everything's off. Fix my jack too. Fix back up. Wait, hold on.
past the end. And that works. <laughs> so that was pretty cool <laughs> for like a first time practice. So that's fun. I didn't time it. So I got to time it and figure out because I only got 30 minutes and then I go too much freestyle in this and I last for fucking ever. And I'm afraid that the crowd's going to be boring when it's just me here in the studio. It's fucking dope. And you because it's like, let's go. It makes a fucking, I'm just jamming. But in a live show, I don't want it to be boring. So let me know if it was too long, too short. Um, right when I like busted the... Oh, also, dude, um, if you're interested in like rewatching my stuff and making like clips, because you seem to know how Twitch works a lot. I try to, when I watch it again, I try to make clips, and I used to try to like download each clip and make a reel out of it, but I haven't had the time to rewatch my like, past fucking shit. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in that, I'm willing to pay. I only got like maybe like 50 bucks a month, which would be like four streams. Um, would be dope. If you're interested, let me know. I can Venmo, PayPal, whatever, but mm, uh, I appreciate it. Yeah. Anyways, second song. So then from here, I'll do like some blah, blah, live stream. So I'll finish this track, blah, blah, yo, yo, yo. Uh, let me go back here and delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this, delete this. We're back on this. Make sure that my master and my devices are all back set to zero. I don't have any fucking uh, delays going on. All right, cool. Save this. Boom. And now uh, I have my folder called Live Sets, and I have May 13th. That's ready to go. And the next song is Mellows, which actually has like an improv spot and a full song, which is cool. Oh, no. So um, on Twitch, if you look at the bottom of your screen, I don't know if it's on this side. I think it's on this side. There's like a little clap thing, and uh, that makes a clip. So if you click on that button, it's going to cut out like one minute uh, section of the video. So if there's a moment in the live stream that you think is really cool, really funny or whatever, just hit that button. Fuck, I moved the push and the push fell. Um, just move that button. Oh, well, fuck, let me try it again. So yeah, if you see a cool section that you like, that's funny or whatever, just hit that clip button. It's gonna make a clip, write a quick, quick title on it. And then on my Twitch page is gonna appear all of the different clips of the live streams. So unfortunately it doesn't last forever they like disappear which I realized afterwards when I spent like fucking hours doing them but from my creator profile I can download each one of those clips as a video and then I just edit it and make it turn it into a reel for TikTok and all that kind of bullshit but I haven't had the time to really do it go through watch the three hour stream again and then write down the times um, I try to do it as much as I can I do it like once to get like the timestamps on YouTube when I upload the replay and um, I try to get that right. So that's one thing. If you're down and doing that, I'm ready to pay like 50 bucks a month just to for you to hit that clip button. We try it out now. Hit that clip button now and see what it does. I don't even know if it's gonna appear on my creative raw file because maybe I have to hit on the clips um, every time. So I don't know. So hit that little click mark. Wait, let me go back to the chat. Fuck, I'm too old for this shit, man. And then I got another song to play. Oh yeah, but may shit, maybe you're gone. But anyways, yeah, that's kind of the idea. All right, let me play this other song, Meadows, and this time I'm gonna set a timer, or at least like a stopwatch. Um, same thing, and then I'm gonna play the other song that I'm gonna do, hopefully I, have the, I don't have the time to practice it now, but, all right, so these are on session. Um, so that's the song, Meadows. Oh, that's one thing I gotta do is fucking um, change the inputs to input two on all of these because my first input is fucked. So this is an old set. I thought I saved it, motherfucker, from the modifications that I did earlier, but apparently not. Q out is on three four so far, so that's something that I'm gonna have to change afterwards. But we're on. <laughs> Um,
Okay, that's it. All right, cool. I just want to remember. Uh, but this one comes in with a little intro. song that's it but I usually do like a low improv
shit, I took off the button, bro. But yeah, that's another song. Uh, are you able to... Ah, nice. No, I'm not. I'm from France, actually, originally. Born and raised. Mm, represent. Let me turn off this fucking metronome, bro. Um, yeah, born and raised in France, but I love Polynesian. And uh, the locals here are just fucking insane. I've been living here for like six years now. Um, no, not to watch the reels. It's 50 to... It's... Um, yeah, no, I, I think I redid all the... Oh, okay, gotcha. You ask. I'm rereading the same shit. Damn, I gotta fix that. Um, oh, gotcha, you're asking the crowd. I don't have much time either, bro. That's why I'm gonna listen to you in general. No worries, my man, no worries. If you can, if you wanted an extra 50, perfect. But otherwise, no worries, because I know it takes a lot of time, and I know it's, like, fucking frustrating. So, like, if you really don't need the 50 bucks, then, oh, fuck it. You know what I mean? It makes fucking perfect sense. Um... So that was the improv one. What time is it? Do I have time to work on the other one? Uh, oh, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I have four more minutes. So let's open up the previous set. I think I'm good on this. I got lucky that that worked again. So all these were in the same shit. Oh, uh, fuck it. I think I fucked it up. Yeah. Apple Z on the last one. So delete, 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 delete. And then there. Cool. All right, cool. So I'm gonna save this. Make sure once again that my delays, all that shit, the master, the devices of the masters are all good. Boom, boom. Turn that off. Yes. All right, cool. Now we're gonna open the other one that we were working on, which was impatience and impatient live show. Double click. It should pop up. Should have the same map and the same shit. Now that I set it up, and I have to do the same thing for the other song. So hopefully I'll get that right next time. But so it takes a little bit of time to load. But once it's loaded, then it's good to go. Pack my suitcase? What for? What do you mean? <laughs> I can't be packing my suitcase. I had a song that was working the other day. It was fucking crazy. I don't remember. But, okay, cool. We got this. Ooh, I forgot how confusing this was already. All right, drum bus, I do need the entire drum bus. Uh, there's this whole loop track that I don't need, so delete that track. Um, I got loops, drums, shit. So let me go down, that's the first idea, second idea, and here's the live shit. So I'll start from here. <laughs> song was impatient. Ah.
Fuck. Alright, delete, delete, delete. Start fresh. Again, make sure that my guitars and my delays are all off. Yeah, cool. Guitar low. Start off there. Mm. Alright, cool. Let's try it again. <laughs> I could have done something like that, but I didn't really pitch it. Lucky number three today. Ah, <laughs> lucky number, let's go. Let's try it one more time, but because I'm still not feeling it. And I still last for like forever. So I gotta do, reset the fucking timer on this. Because that's the idea. I only got 25 minutes, bro. Uh, zoom, no. Stopwatch, fuck off. Peace out. Um, stopwatch, let's go.
kind of lame. That was only two minutes. Fuck. I was expecting way more. Um, <laughs> shit. I feel like I'm doing, I'm losing, I'm going like super fast. All right, cool. It's the end. Um, peace out. Thank you so much for watching. Redness, you always show up. You're always the boss. Much love. Um, going to be practicing more. I have one more song that I need to fix. Well, I'll fix for the week. Next week, probably. Um, all the artists are going to be coming to the show because they're good homies of mine are going to be coming through. We're probably going to practice the live set there, so I'll have to practice it during the week. Um, it's going to be Cedric Clinton, New Nasa. We got Groovy Wild as well in the house. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be pretty cool next Friday. Hopefully it all works out. And now, mm, peace, packing up, and uh, see you guys next time. Mm.